for tuning into a new video. For today's class, we have a 40 minute restorative yoga flow for self care. So, this is for all levels and you won't be needing any props. We'll go ahead and get started in a seated position. Right away, grounding down and allowing ourselves to completely arrive here. Sitting up nice and tall, finding a straight spine. Begin to soften through the face, the forehead, the jaw, and the neck. Allow the shoulders to relax. We'll find a cleansing breath, exhaling where you are. Take a big, slow breath in through the nose, hold it at the top and then exhale out through the mouth. Setting an intention for our practice today to allow ourselves to simply be. Letting go of any to-do lists, any goals, any distractions for these next 40 minutes. Really allow this time to serve you to fill your own cup and setting the intention to self-nurture to take another few slow deep breaths here beginning to fill the body with fresh new energy Taking one last inhale and exhale. Gently flutter the eyes open, readjusting your seating position if needed. And then inhale, reach both arms up overhead. As you exhale, plant the right hand down, reach the left arm over, getting a gentle side body stretch. Feeling the left side ribs expand and then inhale to reach both arms up. Exhale, plant the left hand down, reach the right arm up and over. Staying grounded through the sit bones. Breathing here. Inhale to come up, and then exhale, bring the hands to the knees. We'll move through some cats and cows. So as you inhale, shift the belly forward, lift the gaze. As you exhale, straighten out the elbows, round through the spine, draw the chin to the chest. Inhale, shift the body weight forward, lift the gaze, draw the belly down towards the thighs. And then exhale, round through the spine, drawing the chin back down to the chest. Finding this movement a few more times at your own pace, warming up the spine, matching the movement with your breath. Come back to center here, finding a neutral spine. We're going to extend the right leg straight out in front, bending the left knee, drawing the left sole of the foot inside the right inner thigh. As you inhale to reach the arms up, shift your upper body so that you're facing the right leg, and then exhale, fold over the right leg. Allow the head and neck to hang heavy, really round through the spine here. Feel the shoulder blades draw apart. Let the arms hang heavy so you're not reaching for anything here. The arms are relaxed alongside the leg. And you can flip the palms so that they're face up a gesture of letting go. Continue to breathe here. 
will be holding these postures for an extended period of time, longer than we would in a normal vinyasa class, so allow yourself this space to completely surrender, to find stillness, and to breathe through any areas of tension or tightness. Take one more breath here, and then slowly start to lift yourself back up, coming back to the center. Inhale to reach both arms up overhead. As you exhale, twist to the left. So bring the right hand to the left knee, reach the left hand towards the back of the mat. Keep the gaze steady. From here, you can plant the hands down at the top of the mat, swing that right leg back, tucking the back toes, lifting the left knee, and then placing the left knee towards the left wrist, coming into pigeon pose. So back leg is straight, left knee is bent. Keep the left toes flexed to protect the knee. Coming up onto the fingertips, feeling that stretch in the left hip and in the right hip flexor. Lift the chest up, getting a slight back bend. Breathing into your heart space. We'll stay here for a couple more breaths. Now from here, you can walk the fingertips forward, coming into a gentle forward fold if you'd like. Resting your forehead on the hands, on the arms, or on your mat. Allowing the belly to rest on the thigh. Softening through the face, the neck, the shoulders. And softening into the hip joints, the glutes, the hamstrings, the calves, and the feet. Taking one more breath here, and then slowly lift yourself up. You're going to shift your weight onto the left hip as you swing that right leg forward, crossing the right leg over the left, so keeping that left knee bent. Inhale to reach the left arm up. As you exhale, twist towards the right. So the left elbow comes to the outer edge of the right knee. Right hand comes to the back of the mat. You can rest the left palm against the outer thigh, gazing over the right shoulder. Breathing into this twist, keeping the spine nice and tall. Taking one last breath. As you exhale, slowly release, untwisting, bringing that right leg back, coming back to center. From here, we're going to extend the left leg, keeping the right knee bent. Right sole of the foot is going to be placed inside that left thigh. 
from here, inhale, reach the arms up. Turning your body so you're facing the left leg. And then exhale, fold over the leg. Let your arms relax. Flipping the palms up. Rounding through the spine, allowing the head and neck to be heavy. Feel the stretch in the upper back and in the back of the left hamstring muscles. Continuing to breathe here, deep breaths into the low belly. Feel the ribs and the chest expand. Feel the body soften. One last breath here. And then you can slowly lift yourself up. Coming back to center, inhale both arms up, exhale twist to the right, left hand comes to the right knee, right hand to the back of the mat, soft gaze over the right shoulder. Feel the release in the low back as you twist here. And then releasing the hands down, extending that left leg as you tuck the toes, bringing the right knee to the right wrist, coming into our pigeon pose. Left leg is straight, right knee is bent, keeping the toes flexed. Coming onto the fingertips to find a slight back bend, keeping the chest open, broaden through the collarbones. A few breaths here. And then once you're ready, you can walk the hands forward, coming into our forward fold. Maybe resting the forehead on the hands, the arms, or the mat. Resting the belly against the thigh. Feeling a release in that right hip and a stretch in the left hip flexor. On your last breath here, you can slowly lift yourself back up, coming onto the fingertips, and then shifting your weight onto the right hip as you swing that left leg forward, crossing the left leg over the right leg. Inhale, the right arm comes up. Exhale, twist to the left. Right elbow comes to the outer knee, gazing over the left shoulder. Allow your inhales to find a taller spine and with each exhale come into the twist a little bit deeper staying grounded through the sit bones gently untwist here you're going to swing that left leg around bringing the soles of the feet together so coming into baddha konasana butterfly pose For a deeper stretch, bring the heels closer in towards the body. If you feel any tension in the low back or in the knees, bring the heels further away from you. Find a nice tall spine here, relaxing the shoulders. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, walk the fingertips forward. Allow yourself to come into a forward fold. 
So only go as far as is comfortable for you here. We're just looking for a gentle stretch in the inner thighs and the hips. Flip the palms so that they're face up. Coming back to your breath. One last inhale. One last exhale. Slowly come back up. We're going to extend both legs straight out in front this time. Coming as wide as is comfortable. Keep the feet flexed with the toes face up. Inhale to find a tall spine, and as you exhale, walk the hands forward, coming into a wide-legged seated forward fold. So there will be a little bit of engagement in the legs here with the feet flexed, and you can keep a slight bend in the knees if that's more comfortable for you but allow the upper body to be completely relaxed, letting go of any tension. Again, you can have the palms up if that feels good. Letting go of any tension in the face, softening the jaw, the cheeks, and the eyelids. Taking one last breath here. Walking the hands back, lifting yourself up, bringing the legs together, and turning onto the hands and knees, coming through a tabletop pose. Keeping the hips stacked above the knees. From here, we'll walk the hands forward coming into extended puppy pose, sinking the forearms down, pressing the chest into the ground, relaxing the belly, lifting the hips, bringing the forehead to the ground, getting a stretch in the chest and the shoulders, Finding this restorative stretch, if you'd like a little more engagement, you can press into the palms to lift the elbows, getting a deeper stretch. On your next inhale, gaze forward, pressing yourself up. Then sinking the hips down, coming into Sphinx Pose. So pressing into the forearms, pressing into the elbows to lift the hearts. Getting a gentle back bend. Back legs are active. Drawing the belly and the hips down. And then from here, we're going to move into half frog pose. So if you need to readjust so that your knee can be on the mat, you can shift over towards the left side of your mat. 
you're going to bring that right knee out to about a 90 degree angle keeping the feet flexed arms are still in sphinx pose here once you have that knee out you'll feel a gentle stretch in that right hip joint you can choose to stay here on the forearms or you can gently bring the hands down resting the forehead on the hands or the arms seeing if you can soften into this pose the left leg is straight chest and belly pressed into the ground Drawing awareness to any physical sensations that arise and see if you can sit with that. Take one more breath here. If you have your forehead rested on your arms, slowly begin to come back onto the forearms. Swinging that right leg back so it's straight out behind you. Pressing into the forearms, coming into Sphinx Pose. And then transitioning back into Half Frog Pose. So this time if you want to shift to the right side of the mat, you can then extend that right leg out into a 90 degree angle, allowing that left knee to be on the mat. Taking a breath here, keeping the chest lifted, and then option to slowly come down onto the arms to rest your forehead. Taking slow, deep breaths here. Getting that stretch in the left hip and seeing if you can soften through other areas in your body, glutes, the back, the shoulders. And allow yourself to soften here for these next few breaths. When you're ready, you can slowly come up. Coming onto the forearms, extending that left leg back, then gently come onto the palms. Coming through tabletop, we'll move into child's pose. So bringing the big toes together, allow the knees to be as wide as is comfortable for you. Bringing your forehead to the mat and extending the arms straight out in front of you. Breathing here. Coming back to our intention of self nurture. Beginning to move into our next pose, gently lift yourself up, pressing into the right hand. You're going to thread the left arm underneath the right arm, bringing the left ear to the mat. Gently stretching out the left shoulder and the deltoid, keeping the hips sinking down towards the heels, maybe coming up onto the right fingertips or keeping that right palm down. One last breath here. Then press into the right arm to unthread that left arm, 
extending the left arm straight out in front of you bringing that right arm underneath the left arm this time palm face up right ear on the mat One last breath. Press into the left palm to unthread the right arm. Coming through child's pose. Coming up into tabletop. And then turning around so that you're sitting on the glutes. We're going to lower all the way down onto our backs. So release the spine to the mat. Once you're there, you can extend the left leg and then draw the right knee into the chest. Gently drawing that right knee out so you're getting a stretch in that right hip. Just for one breath. And then hug the right knee back into the chest. You're going to extend the right leg you can have a slight bend in the knee here if that feels better. Interlacing the fingers behind the back of the thigh. Or you can move the hands up to the calves. But wherever you are, breathe into the right hamstrings. Feel the stretch in the back of the leg. Soften the shoulders down towards the ground. So there should be no tension in the upper body. Keeping that left leg glued to the ground. Breathing deep into the low belly. And gently bend into the right knee, bringing the left hand on top of the right knee. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, twist the right knee across the body, coming into a supine twist. Left hand on top of the right knee. You can extend that right arm out beside you. Keep drawing the shoulder blades down. So you have a few options here. You can bend that left knee and then reach your right hand for the top of the left foot to get a gentle quad stretch. Another option here, you can extend that right leg, bringing the left hand on top of the right foot, wrapping the fingers around the outer edge. So you're extending that right leg to get a hamstring stretch. And you can always play around with these options, these variations. If you find that one of these choices isn't for you, you can always come back to a neutral position. So find whatever feels good for you here. And then allow yourself to soften into the pose. Taking one last breath here. And gently releasing your grip from that left foot if you took that variation. Releasing the right foot. Coming back through center, bending both knees. And then we'll extend the right leg straight out in front. And then hug the left knee into the chest. Drawing the left knee out to the left side, opening the left hip. One breath, and 
and drawing the left knee back into the chest, extending the left leg, so straightening out through the knee, interlacing the fingers behind the back of the thigh or the calf, getting that stretch in the back of the hamstrings, slight bend in the knee here is okay. Just try to keep the shoulder blades relaxed, the shoulders pressed into the ground. Pressing down into the right knee, right heel is planted. And hug the left knee into the chest. Grabbing the left knee with the right hand, take a big inhale. As you exhale, twist the left knee across the body over towards the right side. Right hand on top, left arm extended. And again, you can choose to stay here or you have a few options bending into the right knee, bringing the left hand on top of the right foot. Extending the left leg, bringing the right hand to the top of the foot, getting a stretch in the hamstring. Wherever you are, keep the shoulder blades pressed into the ground. Feel the deep twist, feel the stretch. Breathing into the sensations. Gently release the grip on your feet, coming back to center, hugging the knees into the chest, rocking from side to side, and coming into happy baby, arms come inside of the legs, wrapping the fingers around the outer blades of the feet, drawing the knees down towards the outer edges of the ribs. Rocking from side to side, releasing any tension in the spine, opening up the hips, breathing here. And then option to bring the hands to the tops of the feet, straightening out the legs, so getting a hamstring stretch. And when you're ready, Release the feet down, extending the legs, or bringing the soles of the feet together, preparing for our final resting pose. You can allow the arms to rest alongside the body, or you can place the left hand over the heart and the right hand on the low belly. Finding a cleansing breath here, exhaling any stagnant energy, taking a big inhale through the nose, and then exhale out through the mouth. Allow yourself to rest here these next few moments in Shavasana. And I will call you back when it's time.
begin to bring your awareness back into this physical space, drawing awareness to the sounds around you, finding small movements in the fingers and the toes. Begin to deepen the breath. Rolling the wrists, rolling the ankles. Finding a full body stretch, extending the arms overhead, pointing the toes, bending the knees. And then whenever you're ready, Rolling onto one side of the body, pausing here for a moment to reflect. Finding gratitude for taking this time for yourself to fill your own cup, to self nurture, and to simply be. Gently lift yourself up to come into a seated position, keeping the eyes closed or the gaze soft. Bring the palms together, creating friction between the hands by sliding them forwards and backwards, cultivating heat. And then cupping the hands over the eyes, allowing this energy to seep into your body. Cupping the hands over the ears, onto the shoulders, giving yourself a gentle massage around the neck. Then when you're ready, bringing the palms back together prayer position at the center of the hearts. As always, finding gratitude for yourself and for this practice. Bringing the thumbs to the third eye, center of the forehead, together we'll bow our heads. Namaste. Thank you for joining me in this self-care restorative yoga flow. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next class.